In this lesson, you'll learn how to work with code collapse in Dreamweaver 8. One of the new features in Dreamweaver 8 is code collapse. When you're working in the code view window, code collapse enables you to hide sections of code so that you can view and edit different sections of a document without having to scroll the document window. It's also very useful if you want to compare sections of code in different documents. There are several different ways to work with code collapse. The first way is to collapse a code selection. To do this, make a selection of code. A collapse button displays to the left of the beginning and the end of the selection. It's a square with a minus sign if you're working in Windows or an inverted triangle if you're working in Mac. To collapse this selection, click the Collapse Selection button in the Coding Toolbar, or you can choose Edit, Code Collapse, Collapse Selection. The Collapse section of code displays with an Expand button to the left of the selection. This is a square with a plus sign in Windows or a triangle in Mac. You can copy and paste a collapse section into the same document or another document. You can also drag a collapse section within the same document. To re-expand the collapse section of code, just click on the Expand button next to the code or click the Expand All button in the coding toolbar. If there's more than one section of collapsed code, using the Expand All button will expand all of them. Another way to work with code collapse is to collapse everything outside a code selection. Make a selection of code, then click the Collapse Selection button, and at the same time press the Alt key if you're working in Windows, or the Option key if you're using a Mac. You can also do this by choosing Edit, Code Collapse, Collapse Outside Selection. To re-expand this, click the Expand All button in the Coding Toolbar. You can also use Code Collapse to collapse a tag and its contents. In Code View, place the cursor anywhere inside a tag or its contents. We'll put it right here in the Input tag. Then. Click the Collapse Full Tag button on the Coding Toolbar, or choose Edit, Code Collapse, Collapse Full Tag. You can also do this by right-clicking the tag name in the Tag Selector at the bottom of the document window, or use Control-Click if you're using a Mac, and then, from the Context menu, select Collapse Full Tag. If you want to collapse all the code outside a tag, for instance, if you want to isolate a single tag for editing, place the cursor anywhere inside a tag or its contents, then click the Collapse Full Tag button on the Coding Toolbar, and press the Alt key if you're working in Windows, or the Control key if you're using a Mac. You can also do this by choosing Edit, Code Collapse, Collapse Outside Full Tag. You can also use the Tag Selector for this option. Right-click or Control-click if you're using a Mac, the name of the tag in the Tag Selector, then choose Collapse Outside Full Tag from the Context menu. To re-expand your selection, click Expand All in the Coding Toolbar. 